Alright guys, so in today's video I'm going to talk about the uh, Watergate scandal. This is possibly the uh, greatest uh, scandal in uh, US presidential history. This case uh, involves uh, President uh, Richard Nixon's downfall and uh, how uh, he was exposed by uh, Agent uh, Deep Throat. So let's uh, rewind the clock back a few decades. It is the year of uh, 1972, so in a secret underground parking lot, a series of uh, mysterious meetings took place between a uh, Washington Post journalist, uh, Bob Woodward, and uh, at the time there was an anonymous informant. He was known by the code name as Agent Deep Throat. Agent Deep Throat, he was a whistleblower in the uh, Nixon's administration, and during these uh, secret meetings uh, underground, he revealed many dark secrets regarding the recent break-in at the Democratic headquarters uh, near the Watergate Hotel. That's uh, where the name came from, it's the name of the hotel. So these break-ins, uh, they were in fact not uh, just random uh, burglaries, but uh, they were politically motivated, uh, with uh, the president himself, Richard Nixon, calling the shots from uh, behind the scenes. So this is uh, Richard Nixon's uh, scheme. So his goal is to collect as much inside information as possible, and including bugging the entire Democratic headquarters to spy on them, their campaign, in order to help him secure his second term. Uh, President Nixon's poll numbers were shaky during uh, this time. This is uh, mainly uh, led by the unsuccessful involvement in the Vietnam War, which is now becoming unwinnable at this point. And the U.S. troops uh, were on a path for a complete withdrawal at this point. And uh, it was you know, taking place very, very slowly. And the soldiers were dying every single day in Vietnam. So the desperate Nixon, he uh, during this time even visited China in the year of uh, 1972, trying to establish foreign relations uh, ahead of his uh, re-election campaign. But it turns out, uh, you know, the, in the fall of uh, 1972, uh, Mr. Nixon, he actually won in landslide uh, fashion. So this is actually the second largest uh, victory uh, in uh, U.S. history. The only uh, president who top this was uh, Ronald Reagan. That's when uh, Reagan also won 49 out of the 50 states, with the exception of Minnesota. So in the 1972 election, uh, Richard Nixon, he would won uh, 49 out of uh, 50 states as a Republican. The only state uh, that he would lose is uh, Massachusetts and its uh, 14 electoral college votes. But uh, the truth would soon come out, and this would shock the nation. This is the, some just uh, a few details from the uh, Watergate scandal. And this runs so much deeper than uh, the points I'm mentioning. And I uh, highly recommend that uh, you look deeper into the case. It is unbelievable the uh, level of corruption that was taking place in the early 70s. So some of the things that he did included uh, you know, monitoring regular citizens' mails, bugging phone lines, breaking into random people's homes in order to uh, collect uh, election data. And uh, Nixon will continue to deny, deny all allegations. It didn't help that uh, during this time, Times Magazine will also expose that uh, President Richard Nixon that he was owing $500,000 in uh, taxes. And uh, 500000 back in the 1970s, this was a huge sum of money. Then uh, following this came the uh, White House tapes and the Saturday Night Massacre. So the new recording system that was uh, put into place automatically in the White House. So uh, this new recording system in the White House automatically recorded any conversations that took place in the White House office between 1972 and 1973. So the uh, Nixon administration, they were under extreme pressure to release these tapes, and the evidence was starting to become irrefutable. And uh, despite all of this, Nixon, he would continue to abuse his power to prevent the release of these uh, recordings, leading to ordering the Justice Department to fire uh, Archibald Cox, who is a special prosecutor in the case, that uh, subpoenaed the recordings, and uh, a lot of other things happened. But eventually truth would prevail. This would lead to mass protests and demonstrations outside of the White House and throughout the nation, calling for the impeachment of President Richard Nixon. So after the mounting evidence and allegations, finally an edited version of the transcript from the White House recordings were released. And uh, so Richard Nixon, he was sued by the Supreme Court. The ruling forced uh, Mr. Nixon to release all the audio tapes from the White House. And during this time period, many of uh, Nixon's aides were arrested and prosecuted. The walls are caving on all sides now for uh, Mr. Nixon. And uh, finally, on August 9th of 1974, President uh, Richard Nixon, he would resign in disgrace. Well, you might say, oh, that doesn't sound so bad, right? Is this really the greatest uh, political scandal in US history? 
But uh, so what happened uh, right after uh, Richard Nixon resigned is obviously the vice president at the time was Gerald Ford. He swore into the office as the next U.S. president. And his very first act as U.S. president is to pardon. Yes, he pardoned Richard Nixon of all criminal charges. That's just a bit of uh, icing on the cake on this uh, Watergate saga of these political scandals. So this is, you know, the number one country in the world, right? America is all about freedom. So former President Nixon, he passed away in the year of 2004. And it wasn't until the following year, in the year of 2005, the identity of uh, Agent Deep Throat was finally revealed. And he was the Deputy Director of the FBI at the time, Mark Felt. And uh, Mark Felt, uh, he had passed away peacefully in the year of uh, 2008 at the age of 95. Thank you guys uh, so much for uh, watching this video. Hope you guys will have a great weekend.